Hey guys, it's Luna Phoenix here. Welcome back. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make water drawing on any hard surface. So I'm just going to use um, this normal countertop hard surface. And here's what you'll need. You will need markers for the color and play-doh and you don't need the actual dough you just need the can and so it can be empty or anything and you only need the small kinds you don't need it more than this okay so let's get started so the first thing you'll need to do is fill this plate of tin top with water and just the top part and then pour it onto your hard surface. So I'm going to do And you'll need about that much. And now you can take your markers and draw on the place where you put water. And you'll probably have to hold colors. And it will start to change color. Don't know if you guys can see that. But it is changing color. And you guys might be able to see that. And then you can like make it bigger by drawing. And then filling it in with water. And that way it's really cool. So it's DIY water drawing. And if you run out of water, you can, what you can do is. Just take the play out in, fill it up a little bit, and add some water, and then keep on drilling. And the more color you add, the more fun it will be, and the better you could better you can see it. And make sure you use washable marker. So I prefer using Crayola washable, which is what I'm using. And if you're not using Crayola washable, I don't know how you're supposed to get it off because I haven't tried it. And I don't think I'm going to. But um, here's how you get it off for Crayola washable. All you need is some tissue or something so you can press it on off. And as you can see, I did have color. And the more water you have, the harder it will be to clean it up. And then you just squeeze all the water out into a sink or to a small bin and make lots of watercolor changing stuff. And you can also use a normal towel. That will work just fine. And I'll keep showing you more ways to do it. So here are some more colors for that water. And you guys can see the water, this highlighted area. This is the water for you guys. And uh, let's check out what this color is because this is not orange, but it came with an orange cap. Let's press it. It's purple. And I don't think you guys can see that. And what it does is it makes, once you, if you hold it down and press like this, it will start making the giant color dot. And that thing will spread and push the other dots and they will get smaller, which is really cool. And you can like play with this forever. The thing is, you might run out of your ink, and I guess that's fine because you can like really dip it in more ink if you have that kind of stuff, but I really don't. And the more ink you add, the more easier it will be, but you will lose more ink. And I think you guys can see that. Purple. 
but you can see that this is getting really white from all the color squeezing out. So if you want to squeeze out color from your marker, you could like play with this for a while and then you, you can read up your thing. And now I'm going to clean this up and show you the last color, which I think this one has actually orange. And now this would be fun if you were like a grown up, but I'm actually a kid, so if you are a grown up watching this cool thing that you wanted to do with your kids, well, you could, because it's really fun for me, which might be it's really fun for your kids, but I have these two colored things and that's also fun to like look at and change the colors. If you know the experiment called walking colors. But I'll clean that off and do the last color for you guys. And let's do this. So the water is right here. And the color is right here. Sorry, because I have a little stuffy nose. And then Scribbling all over your heart surface because you're actually just scribbling on water. And as long as you have it on water, you're safe. Okay, so I really need to clean up my hair because I got sprayed with lots of paint because it dribbled. So, also, I recommend cleaning your sink if you're pouring all this to your sink, which I am. So I will be doing that, and all this rolling water is killing me. I do not like all the water getting on my hand, and I'm, I'm, it's just really boring to clean up, but it was really fun to do. Ugh. And the first place, I actually got this idea was actually a pretty long time ago. And you can clean your markers off if they have like extra bits of color on them. And that's it guys, how to make really cool watercolor, water drawing coloring on a hard surface. And you get these for each color you clean. And only if you do it this way, you'll get them, but I did it for each color clean. So that's really cool to do. And if you add more paint to them, you can like put these each and squish them together and see what happens. Maybe I'll do an experiment like that on my channel later. So that's it for you guys. And clean up is something you need to do because the orange is leaking here. So, what I would do for cleanup is take your marker and brush these part. And it might make your thing go like this, but you can wash that off under the sink and the orange will come off. And I'm just a kid making all these ideas. So, I don't know what grown-ups could think up of. And actually, the color really leaks. So you'll have to clean it up very nicely. And maybe try the things I say clean up. And if that doesn't work, just ask the parents or do your best to clean it up. Because that's all, guys. And that's how you make cool watercolor things. And I will be showing you the experiment with these things. So if you want to try that experiment, try this one thing first. Then we'll do this experiment. So see you guys, Phoenixes and viewers and jammers and all other people later. Goodbye.